Shakuntali is the feminine form of time and one of the ten Mahavidyas. With her tongue sticking out, she symbolizes wrath and power and sparks fear in the eyes of great lords. With her outstretched tongue, she drinks the blood of Raktbija. Goddess Kali is the destroyer of the evil forces of the universe, the most powerful form of goddess Shakti or Adi Shakti. Mother Kali wears a necklace made of heads of demons and she is dark, a color that means she is beyond all qualities of nature. Kali is often shown as standing on Lord Shiva, her consort. Ma Kali is the chief of Mahavidyas, a group of 10 tantric goddesses, divine intelligence. Kali is derived from the Sanskrit word kala, which means time. It also means she who is black, a feminine noun of the Sanskrit adjective kala. She is a dark-colored woman, a counterpart of goddess Gauri, who is fair, both being forms of Shakti. Goddess Kali is shown as a slayer of demons where she stands with one foot on Shiva and holds a severed head. She wears a skirt of severed human arms and a necklace of decapitated heads. Her hands show the form of both creation and destruction. Kali symbolizes the superiority of females in nature. She is a mother who suffers pain to evoke her children. She is the symbol of Shakti, feminine power, and creativity. The devotees who fall at her feet in devotion or surrender in front of her can achieve moksha by touching her feet. Origin of Goddess Kali Goddess Kali originated from Goddess Durga's anger to slay the asura named Raktbija, Bloodseed. Raktbija was so fierce because he could spawn from every drop of his blood that touches the ground. When Goddess Durga became so enraged, her wrath emerged as a goddess from her forehead in the form of Kali. She was so fierce that she tore down and ate all those who came across. Seeing all their efforts fail, the gods went to Lord Shiva to ask him to calm her down. Shiva laid down on her path, which is often how she is portrayed. Kali was so consumed with her bloodlust she did not realize she was standing on her own husband. Kali dominates tantric iconography, texts, and rituals. In those vidyas, Kali is considered the highest of all deities. Kali is especially worshipped in the Kalratri, the seventh day of Navratri, which starts from the new moon day of Ashwin for nine days.